Major breaking news coming out of NASCAR today when it comes to the absolutely ridiculous finish in Richmond Raceway. And it comes down on two different drivers and teams in particular. We'll start off with the lesser of them, Joey Logano. Joey Logano got a $50,000 fine for the way he acted on pit road. Personally, I think it should have been bumped up to 100K. I really think that the way that he acted even though people were on pit road that shouldn't have been there, was egregious. And there needs to be a message put across there. And I think getting up to six figures on one fine would have put that message across. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I, I think that outside of that, I wouldn't have points taken away. I wouldn't have anything much more to the team. It wasn't the team that did anything. If there were any kind of point or playoff penalty, it should go towards the driver. But... I mean, you, you look at this right now, and Logano he basically acted like a rookie, and this stuff wouldn't fly at a local short track, let alone at big league NASCAR racing, so I am all for what NASCAR does with this. This is egregious, and they did the right call on this. The big penalty is going towards Austin Dillon and Richard Childress racing, and I'm just going to spell out the first bit really easy right here. Austin Dillon is out of the NASCAR playoffs at this time. NASCAR has said that the win will not count towards playoff eligibility. They violated the rules of eligibility and will lose all win benefits. Austin Dillon still keeps the win. He still has it in the record book, but it's not going to help him towards the playoffs. And on top of that, NASCAR piled it on. Spotter Brandon Banesh will be suspended three races the remainder of the regular season. So Michigan, Daytona, and Darlington. And number three RCR team will lose 25 driver and owner points as well towards the championship, meaning that that 26th place in points, I haven't checked right now, will not be 26th in points. Instead, it will be much lower. And funny enough, RCR actually released this video with Freebird playing in the background and leaning into the heel roll right before this was released, not even an hour before. And with it as well, NASCAR has taken a huge step, I think, in the eyes of many fans in a few ways. Let's break it all down. First off, NASCAR, in my opinion, with this helped at least in a small bit legitimize themselves. It's an ugly situation that NASCAR shouldn't have allowed to get to this point to begin with. But you know what? I will take late action over no action. And with it, there at least is a line. You can't clear two people out. The SMT data based on people not like me who might be schmucks that might not know how to read it, but actual people who can read it. We're saying, yeah, looks like he pretty much cleaned Denny Hamlin out. And I guarantee you that's why this happened. The Logano one, I will say, borderline. But this one here with Denny Hamlin, where he basically goes down the track and sends Denny straight into the wall. Yeah, that's the egregious one. A lot of fans aren't going to like it because it's Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano, but it's true. Austin Dillon in this did something that is wrong. And I think Austin Dillon probably should have been suspended based on NASCAR's past precedent, but this I think will suffice for a lot of those asking for action. And on top of that, the spotter being suspended, he literally told Austin Dillon to wreck him. And whether you agree with what Austin Dillon did or not, I think we all need to take a step back and agree that spotters should not be telling drivers to do different, possibly egregious moves to other drivers. They're not the ones in the car. They should not be influencing it. They're there to keep the driver safe. They're there to have that added little shield that can help them see areas drivers cannot. They are not there to basically egg on somebody until they do something stupid that ultimately will tarnish the reputation with a lot of people, industry and fans alike. And the three team losing 25 driver or owner points, that to me is more of a slap on the wrist there already we're going to be buried in the point standings anyway but what this does for the most part is it takes away the points aspect of it in a sense that maybe at the end of the year that 25 points that might be the difference between finishing 30th in the points and finishing 25th which could be a big amount of money for a team come season's end 
And RCR has not been good. They've had their ups and downs for sure. But let's be completely honest, since Kevin Harvick left that team, RCR has been a shell of even what it was post Dale Earnhardt. And the last five or so years, it's been even worse. RCR probably is one of the teams that's hurting for cash as well. So this does not help them in any way. And I think what NASCAR did with all of this is basically drop the hammer on somebody and use them as an example. This will not happen again. I guarantee it will not happen again. And if it does happen again, I wouldn't be surprised if NASCAR dropped an even harsher penalty on whichever the perpetrator was. Whoever it was, whichever team it was, does not matter. This is something that needed to be addressed. This is something that finally has been addressed. And what I am hoping for, looking forward to the long term on this, is that NASCAR can start taking a bit more control back as the adult in the room. There have been way too many of these egregious instances where drivers are just acting like complete morons out there with little to no repercussion, if not actually being praised for it based on the system as well as those around them. This is a needed change, whether fans want it or not. I've seen the majority of fans would want it, but a lot didn't. You got to understand this was needed in so many ways to try in some way to legitimize the sport more. I know it sounds like I'm saying a lot of the same stuff over, but it's true and it needs and bears repeating a lot. I praise NASCAR for what they did on this. I'm someone who is really, 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 really critical of what NASCAR does. But this was the right call to do, and they did the right thing. And it was difficult to do. It probably took too long. They probably should have just DQ'd him, similar to the Cars Tour or similar to in what short track racing does. But they did the right thing. And I'm hoping very much that going into 2025, they put some kind of short track style officiating system in with egregious instances like this because this was needed in every sense of the word but that i don't want to know what you think do you think austin dylan and joey logano and everybody else that was involved in this should have been penalized and fined the way they were or do you think nascar has taken it too far and they're just stifling more personality more great racing whatnot I want to have an honest conversation in the chat. Try and be civil with each other about it. I want to know what you think. And while you're at it, leave a like on this video. Share this video and subscribe to this channel for more great and fun NASCAR content. Thank you so much to all of my channel members for your continued support. Be sure tonight to watch NWP. We'll talk all about this. Until then, have a good one.